So if I can get all of these technical pieces together here in just a moment, you're going to see a little demonstration. There's going to be an unchanging piece of paper of a particular color moving across another static piece of paper, which is a gradient of one color to another color. The important thing is that there is no change in either of the pieces of paper, and yet you will witness change in the relationship between the two pieces of paper, and you will see the colors change apparently in a way that seems very convincing, but it's only because you are holding a relative relationship, or a relationship, between the two pieces of paper and their color that causes you to see a change that actually is not happening. So as you are watching this uh, happen again and again here, listen to these verses and sort of put them in the same context and see if it makes any sense from the Avadutta Gita, chapter 4, verses 16 and following. Never, my child, did I have death or deathlessness, poison or poisonlessness. How shall I speak of the pure and the impure? I am free from disease. My form has been extinguished. Never have I sleep or awakening. Never do I practice concentration or hand posture. For me, there is neither day nor night. How shall I speak of the transcendental and relative states? I am free from disease. My form has been extinguished. Know me as free from the all and from the details composing the all. I have neither illusion nor freedom from illusion. How shall I speak of such rituals as morning and evening devotions? I am free from disease. My form has been extinguished. Know me as endowed with all concentration. Know me as free from any relative or ultimate aim. How shall I speak of union and separation? I am free from disease. My form has been extinguished. You see, our ego is like the small piece of square on the front of the page and the world and our relationship with it is the graduation line or the graduated color behind our ego. Neither is changing. It's only the relationships that shift that make the change appear as change. The colors are static and still the entire time. Know this to be the nature of the self, that you are unchanging. It is only you moving an ego apparently, a perspective point, across the gradient of a reality that you have determined to be separate from yourself and drawing the continual relationship between this ego and the separate environment is what is giving you the illusion of change. How can this be true? That's your homework. <laughs>